Hello, everyone. I'm Jia Huiyu, a PhD student from the University of Nottingham. My supervisor is Dr. Tao Wu. Well, it's a great honor to give a presentation here. The topic of this research is plasma assist preparation of MOF derived nano nickel alumina catalyst with promising application in carbon dioxide methylation. Here shows the outline of this presentation, which includes the introduction, activity test, characterization, and the conclusion part. Here comes the introduction part. This picture shows the global average temperature from 1850 to 2019. To set the scene, let's look at how the temperature uh, has warmed. If we set uh, 1980s as a baseline, the global temperature has risen sharply in the past several decades. It increased about 0 0.7 degrees centigrade higher than our baseline. And the carbon dioxide emission really contributes a lot to the global warming. Here shows the annual total carbon dioxide emissions by different world regions. Before 1950s, the United States and Europe accounted for more than 85% of emissions each year. But in recent decades, it has changed significantly. We could see a significant rise in carbon dioxide emission in China. And here shows the amount of carbon dioxide emissions in different regions. And this picture clearly shows that the amount of carbon dioxide emitted in China is very huge. So we need to do something to reduce the carbon dioxide concentration. And the catalytic approach is an important way because carbon dioxide can be artificially um, converted into reusable chemicals. Among the catalytic reaction of carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide methylation is a suitable technique for fixation of carbon dioxide. Methane is the main component of the natural gas, which is easier to transport, handle, and store. Well, carbon dioxide methylation can be achieved using thermal catalytic, uh, thermal catalytic membranes, plasma catalytic, and uh, photocatalytic. Among them, the most conventional method is the thermal catalytic conversion. In this study, I will introduce a new method to prepare nickel alumina catalyst with highly dispersed nickel particles and use it for carbon dioxide methylation. Let's uh, see the preparation and the uh, activate uh, test. Here is the graphical abstract. Well, we use the oxygen plasma to decompose the nickel morph, which is coated on the surface of the alumina. And uh, the prepared catalysts are used for carbon dioxide methylation. Here shows the preparation method. Well, first we grow the nickel morph on the surface of the alumina. After the nickel morph formed a thin film on the surface of the alumina, it was divided into two groups. One group uses the traditional calcination method. Thus, the catalyst is labeled as nickel alumina C, which is also the control group. And the other group uses the plasma decomposition method and uh, is labeled as nickel alumina P. Here shows the catalytic performance of this catalyst. Uh, the three catalysts in the first picture are all made by plasma decomposition method. The only difference is the nickel loading. Well, the nickel loading of the nickel-1 alumina catalyst is 1.2%. 
and uh, that for nickel two and nickel three is two point four and three point six percent. We could see the catalytic performance has improved significantly by increasing the nickel loading from nickel one to nickel two. However, there is no obvious improvement between the nickel two and nickel three alumina catalyst. From the perspective of automatic utilization efficiency, the nickel alumina catalyst is the best. I mean, the nickel two alumina catalyst is the best. So it needs a further comparison with the control group. The picture on the right shows the catalytic performance of the nickel two alumina P and the nickel two alumina C. They have the same nickel loading but totally different performance. It suggests that catalyst made by plasma decomposition is worthy of further research. Here shows the comparison of the prepared nickel alumina catalyst with literatures. Well, all catalysts are prepared with the similar nickel loading and are performed under same temperature and pressure. The group A are compared under a higher GHSV, uh, which is over 10,000, and the carbon dioxide conversion of the nickel alumina P catalyst uh, is higher than the reference. And similar results can be found when compared under a lower GHSV as shown in group B. It suggests that nickel alumina P catalyst is promising for carbon dioxide methanation. So it needs further characterizations to explain the mechanism. Uh, then we come to the characterization. And uh, here shows the HRTM of the alumina support and uh, the nickel alumina P catalyst. From the HRTM, we could see that there are some small particles on the surface in the range of 2 to 4 nanometers. These small particles indicate that the nickel on the surface of alumina does not form large particles, which is beneficial to the dispersion of nickel. And uh, the fixture E2H shows the elemental mapping of the nickel alumina P. The mapping of nickel element shows similar shape with the alumina or oxygen element, further confirming the well dispersed nickel species on the surface of alumina. This is the BET result of the nickel alumina P and the control group. The specific surface area of the alumina support alone is around 308 square meter per gram. And after loading nickel, the surface area of the control group decreased to 208, and that of uh, the nickel alumina P uh, is 238 square meter per gram. It suggests that plasma decomposition is a mild degradation method, which can reduce the cloth of pores that, so that it can have higher surface area than the calcination method. And it is worth noting that uh, nickel dispersion of the nickel alumina P is about five times higher than that of the control group. It seems that plasma decomposition contributes to the formation of well-dispersed nickel particles. Here shows uh, the reducibility and the surface properties of the catalyst. Fixture A shows the hydrogen TPR result. The profile can be divided into three regions. The first one is a, uh, is a low, and the second one is the medium, and the third one is the high temperature regions. 
which is corresponding to the、uh, weak, medium, and strong interaction of the nickel and the alumina. It is obvious that the sites located in the medium interaction of the、uh, nickel alumina p catalyst is much more than that of the control group.、Uh, however, the strong interaction sites of the control group is much more than the nickel alumina p catalyst,、uh, and it has already been founded that. The formation of nickel alumina spinel is the reason of the strong interaction. So that suggests that the catalyst made by plasma decomposition can only form a small amount of nickel alumina spinel, but most of the nickel in the control group forms a spinel. And the results of XPS also confirms the results. The peak corresponding to the nickel alumina spinel of the nickel alumina p is much lower than the control group,、mm, and、uh, it has been found that the formation of the spinel is useless for carbon dioxide activation. So that explains why the catalyst made by plasma decomposition shows better performance than the control group. Here is the hydrogen TPR and the carbon dioxide TPD for these four catalysts. Well, all catalysts made by plasma decomposition have more medium interaction sites. It suggests that most nickel in this catalyst do not form a spinel but dispersed on the surface, and the carbon dioxide. TPD compares the carbon dioxide adsorption ability of this catalyst. The catalyst made by plasma decomposition have a better carbon dioxide adsorption ability than the control group. And what's more, the amount of carbon dioxide adsorbed of the nickel two catalyst and the nickel three catalyst are similar. It seems that、uh, adding more nickel. Cannot provide more sites for carbon dioxide activation, so that explains the similar catalytic performance of the nickel two and the nickel three alumina catalyst in the methanation test.、Uh, now we come to the conclusion part, where we found that the plasma decomposition has weakened nickel alumina interaction. Promoting the nickel oxide reducibility, and the plasma decomposition can also better the dispersion of nickel. The low temperature performance for carbon dioxide methanation is improved significantly because of more sites for carbon dioxide activation. Well, thanks、uh, for the fundings from Zhejiang Province. Ningbo City, and、uh, thanks the scholarship from the University of Nottingham. Also, thanks my、uh, supervisor, Dr. Tao Wu, for his guidance. And so, thank you for your time,、uh, and、uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you all.